Hey guys, welcome back to Los Artilleros. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much a video I was never really expecting to have to make. Um, um, just so you know, I'm not going to be talking about the Fulham game uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it was a crap game, to be honest. Uh, really frustrating. Um, I don't really want to go back into it. Uh, we did get a draw, it was a 1-1, one -one, um, which I think was deserved. Uh, but we should have won that game pretty easily. We made it so hard and made it so easy for them. Um, yeah, I just can't be bothered to talk about it, to be honest with you. And the other reason is, um, I think it's like much more bigger than it needs to be talked about. And I wanted to give my, my own little opinion on it, um, you know, just because. Um, and that is the, uh, the announcement that the six, the top six clubs in England really is, um, they're all going to be looking to form a European Super League with a bunch of clubs from, um, from Europe, from Spain, uh, Italy, uh, some other countries as well probably. Uh, I'm not going to list all the European teams, that this is, I mean, I, I can't be, you know, I don't care about any European teams, um, but I do care about the Premier League and the clubs that have announced it, so I'm going to talk about them. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, the teams are Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs, Liverpool, Man United and Man City. Uh, the so-called Big Six, the top six in the English Premier League. Um, they've all, in the same time, a couple of days ago now, I think it was the 19th. Um, yeah, they all can post it on their websites, post it on the social media. That they were going to form this European Super League with a bunch of other European teams. Um... And it pretty much broke the internet. Uh, it, there was an absolute uproar, to be honest. Um, it's a disgrace, you know, it's a disgrace, pure and simple. And I will get into the reasons for that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not so much, I mean, it's not so much of a surprise. There have been rumours about it. I just never thought it would get to this point. Um, there was questions about whether it's, they're not really intending to do it. Maybe it's just a uh, power play and they just want to get a bit more power from the Premier League and UEFA and all that. Um, or whether they're legit, that's what they want to do. Um, they, I think for me, the worry thing is they announced that it was going to start in August uh, so quickly. I mean, it's already near the end of April um, and August ain't that far away. And, you know, Three of those, I mean, Arsenal and United are still in the Europa League, uh, you know, semi-finals. And, yeah, obviously, uh, Chelsea and Man City are still in the Champions League as well. And the U UEFA and FIFA have already come out saying that um, Chelsea and City could be forfeited their semi-final places. I mean, it could end, I mean, Real Madrid's another team, in it? So, PSG could just be given the Champions League title this week. Um, pretty for the fact that PSG haven't announced that they're going to be a part of it yet. Apparently there's three more teams. Um, I think it's only 15 family members. There's 12 already. Um, so yeah, why do I have a problem with it? Why does everyone have a problem with it? Well, first of all, you know, it's looking likely that all the teams involved will not be in the Premier League or in their domestic leagues anymore. They won't be in the Champions League. They won't be in the Europa League. Um, and all the players involved won't be uh, eligible for the World Cup or Euros or any other international competition because um, they're all sponsored by UEFA and FIFA and all that. So, yeah, it's going to be a size. I mean, if it happens, it'll be the biggest change in English football ever, uh, even more bigger than when the Premier League was formed. Um, and not for the better either. I mean, all the teams in there, they won't have to get relegated, they won't have to get promoted. Um, it's you know there's no there's no jeopardy there's no danger there's no risk for the owners of all these clubs because you know they'll just be generating their money they won't be relegated and losing out on money um, they'll have hundred percent control over it so they can charge however much they want they can do their own TV deals they don't have to ask it to anyone above them. And let's just be clear, I mean, everyone else has been clear on this, and you know, I'm sure not, I'm not the only one that's realised this, but this is just a money grab. This is just how can we make even more money for a select, tiny few people, uh, you know, and they've completely 
just ignored the fans, not even just ignored the fans, they've chucked all the fans of all these clubs under the bus. Uh, they, they basically declared that you know, the fans aren't, the local fans definitely aren't valued anymore. Um, they only seem to value, like David Orstey said in his, um, his um, podcast, that they value, they seem to value the, uh, the foreign fans now, the fans that will buy merchandise and subscribe to whatever TV stuff to watch the games on and uh, it's the foreign fans that can't go to the game week in and week out that they're catering to because you know the foreign fans make up for the fact that they can't go to the games by buying merchandise and things like that I mean I'm one of them I'm, I live in Australia I'm not I'm technically a foreign fan now and you know I do buy all the shirts as you can see um, I do buy scarves I do buy all these other things um, you know, because I love the club and I want to be involved in it and, you know, even though the club has been horrifically managed for the last five or six years, um, I'm still quite okay giving them my money. Um, well, up until now at least anyway. Um, yeah, but definitely the local fans and the fans that have been there for decades and decades and have generations of Arsenal fans and their families, they're not considered useful or valued by the hierarchies of any of these clubs, not just Arsenal. Um, it's particularly disappointing with Arsenal, Man United and Liverpool. Mm -hmm. I think they're the, they're the teams that have the, the biggest impact in the Premier League. Um, they've got the biggest history in the Premier League. Um, you know, histories of winning things. Um, and They've all got very close-knit fan bases, especially Liverpool. I mean, Liverpool are a club that prides itself, apparently, on being part of the community and, you know, everyone's in it together and, you know, you never walk alone and all that crap. Uh, well, clearly you do, because if you're not, if, you, if, if we're not helping them make money, then they're going to drop us like stones. And um, It's just, there's no competition. There's nothing to look forward to in the sporting sense. Because even if you get to see Barcelona play Arsenal or Man United play, you know, I don't know, Real Madrid on a weekly basis, so what? You know, you can get debt 8-0 and you'll still be in it. You'll still be making money. What's the point? You know, it takes away the joy of the game. You don't have any of the danger. You don't have anything to do. There's no reason to improve the teams because... You don't have to win anything. You're not going to lose anything. So, you know, why why strengthen the teams and things? They, they probably will in the sense that they'll be earning so much money that they could buy any player in the world. But what player is going to be like, yeah, okay, let's give up the World Cup? I mean, every player should, and I thought did, dream of playing in the World Cup, representing their country, winning it um, on merit, you know, not just be giving it to them. And Arsenal... In particular, I mean, I'm trying to only focus on Arsenal here. Arsenal have no right to be in any competition at face value just because they're Arsenal. I mean, we've been horrifically bad this season. Horrifically bad. It's our worst season pretty much ever. And, you know, we somehow get God given right to go into a league and play with all these toppers. Every single team in this league would annihilate Arsenal as we're playing, as we're playing right now. I mean, we can't even beat Fulham, for Christ's sake. You know, how are we going to go up against Barcelona? I don't want to go. I don't want to watch us play at Barcelona right now with Bayern Munich, even though Bayern Munich are not in it. I don't want to see us playing these top teams. We'll get annihilated. I don't want to see my team get destroyed week in, week out. Um, yeah, you know, Arsenal have been horrifically run for ages. Um, bad signings, bad sales. I mean, we can't sell a player for profit ever, apparently. Um, God knows whether the last time we actually sold someone for big, big money uh, that does, we deserve to get for a good player. Um, you know, and you know, suddenly you think you have the right to just go into another league and make it all the walls yourselves, all the walls that will benefit you, and just so that, you know, Sam Kroenke and a couple of other his subordinates can get a load of money. Like, I don't care, I don't want that. And to be honest, you know, if that happens, then I'm not going to support Arsenal anymore. Because it won't be Arsenal anymore. It will just be some commercial product. Um, 
that has no value whatsoever to anyone, any fans. And it's, just, it's a real shame that I'm even saying that. Because, you know, us as my club, you know, it's a club that I've been supporting for pretty much the majority of my life. Um, I don't want to see it go. I don't want to see it change. I mean, it's, it's just a disgrace. And hopefully the backlash has kind of hit home a little bit. Because it has been a massive backlash. I mean, obviously, Premier League and UEFA and Sky and all the, um, you know, BT Sports and all that, they're all going to be in uproar. But then Sky are already in uproar because they're losing our money. I mean, you know, it's, Sky exists because the Premier League exists. And without most of the top teams in the league, they're not going to make it that much money anymore. They know it, and that's why they're crying about it. That's why Gary Neville's crying about it. Um, but make no mistake, all the fans, uh, this is crushing for the fans. Uh, all of them. It's not overreacting. It's not being dramatic. It's legit real. I mean, I don't want us to leave the Premier League. I don't want us... I want us to be punished for being crap, you know? Because then only then can you change. Only then can you improve. Um, and the timing of it is horrific as well. I mean, everyone's in a pandemic. Everyone's losing money. All the clubs, are, you know, like um, people are saying online, you know, clubs are going downhill. Clubs are going bankrupt in the lower leagues. And they, you know, all these clubs are sitting in the room somewhere drinking their cigar, or drinking their scotch and uh, smoking their cigars and thinking, how can we make even more money? Um, you know, these clubs are supposed to be community based. Even Man City, who are pretty much a brand new team, brand new club, um, even they have done lots of work in their local community. They're a community club. It's, they've given no thought to the fans at all with this, and it's just you know, heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking. I'm really angry about it, I'm really hurt about it. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, it, no. Things are going to change really quickly, I think. There's going to be lots of news now, between now and the end of the season. Um, you know, UEFA are threatening to keep the teams out of the Champions League and the Europa, Europa League, like I said now, already, like this week. Um, uh, the Premier League's threatening to kick them out of the, the league now, just as a punishment. Um, yeah, it's just horrific. And, you know, shame on all these clubs that have agreed to this. Um, shame on them, though. And I you know, even if they come out and say, okay, we're not going to do it, we retract it, like, my respect for my own club has just nosedived. Um, and it hasn't been that high this season, at least, because we've just been playing horrifically and uh, bad business. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I just I don't know what else to say on that. I just hate it. Um, I don't want to make Stan Kroenke pay any more money. I hate the guy. Um, he has no association with Arsenal Football Club whatsoever. Um, probably doesn't even know any of the players. He's probably never seen a game in his life. He's t- on TV or on, in real life. Well, I'm pretty sure he's gone to an, an FA Cup final once, but... Nah, bro. Nah, I just don't... I don't know what's, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, Anyway, it's a video I wanted to make. Um, well, I didn't want to make, but I did. I want to get my voice out there and add it to the millions that are already in that war about this. Um, because, you know, every little helps. And, um, yeah, it's just a disgrace. Um, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know what else I want to say. So it's a greed. There's no competition. It's, they can't turn around and bullshit us by saying, oh, we want to play the best teams in the world, blah, blah, blah. No. Like, it's not competition. If you wanted to, if you wanted to compete, you'd buy better players um, for our to use and, you know, so that we can get back in the Champions League. That should be your main focus, not sodding around with another league. Um... No, nah, it's just a money grab. It's just a money grab. It's just a select, select few can earn more millions than they already are. And, um, yeah, it's, the consequences is going to be far-reaching, I think. Um, but anyway, I'm wanting now. So, yeah, pretty sad video. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Um, yeah, take these guys. See you later.